Hello friends, welcome again to my channel where we discuss the science behind this world of medicine. So today we will be discussing about an interesting topic which is eyelid twitching or what we generally called as eyelid flickering wherein your eye muscles blink like this, they do not close but they flicker like this. So in general cases this is a normal phenomena but why is it interesting is because there are a lot of myths associated with eyelid twitching. One of those myths is that an eyelid twitch is associated with a good or bad event about to happen in your life. The second myth is that this eyelid twitch tells you of a upcoming heart condition or a heart illness or a cardiac illness. Both these myths are only myths. The reason is there is no scientific theory which proves these are true or there is no direct evidence from science or medical science which proves that there is a correlation between the two. So these remain as myths. But there is 100% evidence of eyelid twitching being linked to three factors or three phenomena. These three factors are first lack of sleep, the second is excessive caffeine intake and third is excessive stress. So these three factors of phenomena have a direct link to eyelid twitching means that if these three factors are available in an individual, there is 99.99% chances that that person will have a constant or a regular intermittent eyelid twitching or eyelid flickering. But in general cases, this eyelid twitching or flickering is harmless and you need not have any medical advice unless and until they, they, there are four things that happen which alert should alert you to visit a clinician or a medical practicing doctor. What are those four things? Those four things are if this eyelid twitching involves both the eyes. Generally a normal eyelid twitching will involve only single eye either right or left. But if both the eyes are involved you need to visit a doctor. If there is involvement of this eyelid flickering for more than an hour a normal case scenario would be wherein the eyelid flickers for like maybe 5 to 6 minutes or 10 minutes. But if this eyelid flickering lasts for more than 1 hour, you need to seek medical attention, medical advice and you need to visit your doctor or a general physician. The third thing is if these eyelid twitching causes your eyelid to shut. Normally the eyelid twitching is something like this. But if this is severe enough to cause your eyelids to shut, again, you need to visit a medical practice because there may be some underlying illness or disease that you need to rectify. The fourth thing is if this eyelid twitching is associated with sub twitching of the facial muscles. The reason is if there is association with facial muscles you can assume that there is something happening inside your body a diseased condition which needs medical attention. So remember these four points, point number one, two, three and four, wherein you need to seek a medical attention for eyelid flickering. If these three, four conditions are not there, you need not worry. The eyelid twitching in that case is a normal phenomena. You need not worry much about it because this may happen in any individual. But still, why does this eyelid flickering happen? There is occurrence of this eyelid flickering with a lack of sleep excessive caffeine intake and stress. But what happens in these three phenomena which lead to eyelid twitching? The basic phenomena that happens is that there is a constant signal from the brain to the eyelid muscles to contract. This is the basic phenomena which causes eyelid twitching. But why does this signal come up? Why does this regular spasmodic or constant flickering command comes from the brain to the eyelid muscles which causes this eyelid twitch or flickering. There are three instances we will discuss. All these three instances are linked to one another but let us try understand, understanding each one of them. Instance one is when there is lack of sleep. What happens in lack of sleep is your eyelid muscles are regularly working. They are constantly putting effort contractions and everything and they are weak. They, are, they need rest. They get fatigued because they are constantly working. There is production of lactic acid and what happens in that case is the muscle feels weak. The muscle feels fatigued. 
Now what happens is in general cases you would go off to sleep. But if that sleep is not good 6 to 8 hours relaxed sleep, you will wake up in the morning with freshness you will feel but there is no freshness because these eyelid muscles have not taken proper rest and what happens you continue during your day because there are a lot of activities which require your attention and alertness. So what happens is during the day wherein the previous day you have not taken a good sleep, the eyelid muscles are fatigued, there is lactic acid production, these eyelid muscles need more rest but you are doing an activity that requires your alertness. So what happens is brain is giving two signals to the eyelids. Signal one is wherein the brain tells the eyelids that you need to be alert, you need to work hard, you need to contract, you need to be keep working. The second signal that comes to the eyelid muscles is rest. You are fatigued, there is lactic acid production, you need rest, you are feeling weak. So what happens is when these two signals come together to the eyelid muscles, it gets confused and there is flickering eyelid twitching something like that happens it does not close off your eyes but eyelid twitching happens in those scenarios if your alertness level reduces or you decide to go off to bed you will immediately realize that you fall asleep very fast so this is the reason of eyelid twitching or eyelid flickering instance 2 is linked to instance 1 wherein what happens is you take when you take a lot of caffeine intake like a normal person may take one or two cup of coffees, but a person who needs to work late at night may consume more caffeine, more coffee. In that case, what happens is caffeine causes a signal of alertness from the brain to the eyelid muscles, obviously to other parts of the body also, but eyelid muscles to contract and keep working. So caffeine causes this alertness. If there is lack of sleep, there is fatigue, muscles get weak, they need rest. Again, there are two signals coming from the brain. One is alert signal because of caffeine. One is rest signal because of fatigue or lactic acid production. In that case, what happens is, again, there is flickering. So you can easily understand why caffeine may sometimes cause flickering or eyelid twitch or eyelid spasm, which is regular small activities of contractions in your eyelid muscles. So this is instance two. The instance 3 is again linked to instance 1 and 2 and it says that when you have stress, your sleep is deprived because in cases of stress, you will not sleep properly, you are not in a relaxed phase. The sleep may be of 6 to 8 hours but that may not be a complete resting sleep. What happens in that case is when you don't take proper sleep, again the muscle is fatigued, feeling weak, it has worked lot and there is a chemical that is lactic acid being produced around the muscles which gives a signal to the brain and then the signal comes back to the eyelids for closing or contraction or closing relaxation and what happens is a simultaneous signal of alertness may be there because you have to do regular activity during the day and these two activities again cause eyelid twitching. So you can see how stress, caffeine intake and lack of sleep are interlinked in causing muscle twitching or eyelid muscle twitching, eyelid flickering. Now there is another factor that happens in stress because stress causes release of hormones like cortisol and other hormones and this changes the physiology of your brain. It changes something in the brain which causes some chemicals to release neurotransmitters which we call them and these neurotransmitters are released, fired regularly from the brain to the eyelid muscles. When this firing of brain signals happen to the eyelid muscles, it causes some flickering. So this is an independent event that is linked to stress causing eyelid twitching or eyelid flickering. Now when I discuss these instances, these instances are not 100% proven but yes there is link and association and theory behind eyelid twitching being caused due to these factors and what is the science behind them. The reason why the research is not more focused towards finding out a reason for eyelid twitch is because it is a normal phenomena, it does not lead to a medical illness requiring attention or it is not an underlying reason for an underlying illness. So there is less research in this area. But there are theories being put forward which I have explained to you. But there are two important things you also need to note during eyelid twitching or eyelid contraction. The first thing is if it is disturbing you a lot, what you can do is you can 
soak your handkerchief or some towel in lukewarm water and apply it to your eye close your eyes and apply it to your eyes what that will do is it will cause vasodilation means blood coming to the eyelids the vessels that are there will increase in size and carry more blood so it will carry more oxygen more nutrients to the muscles which need rest which are fatigued and also it will take away that chemical which is the lactic acid i was referring to i did not explain earlier but a muscle that is working a lot produces lactic acid and this lactic acid causes the fatigue and the weakness feeling in the muscles so this blood supply which increases supplies oxygen and nutrients and it takes away this lactic acid back so it creates a fresh environment for the muscles and yes in that case what happens is your alert signal remains and your relax signal coming from the brain asking the muscle to relax reduces so that means the eyelid twitch goes away but again you need to remember that this is not the solution this application of handkerchief is only a symptomatic solution wherein it is irritating you but a long term solution for avoiding eyelid twitch is having good sleep reducing your caffeine intake and reducing stress obviously this topic is not to express theories behind stress and how you can avoid stress maybe i can make a video in the subsequent sessions but yes you need to avoid these three things to avoid having eyelid twitches on a constant basis the second thing to note over here is that what happens is lack of sleep more caffeine intake and stress these three factors ultimately lead you to have a bad lifestyle means you may consume lot of food cholesterol intake may increase and you may do not have exercising you may not have a healthy lifestyle you may not be active during the day leads to lot of lifestyle changes in you and these lifestyle changes are ultimately linked to a heart illness so this theory says that if you have lack of sleep you have a uh, caffeine intake and there is lot of stress you may have eyelid twitching but in short these three things lead to lifestyle modifications which are not good and these lifestyle modifications which are not good ultimately lead you to have a cardiac illness or a heart illness hence there is a relation between cardiac illness and eyelid twitch to some sort of an extent what not 100% evidence has been proved so friends i hope this video was interesting because this was a interesting topic and everyone i think 100% of you who are listening to me have had an experience of eyelid twitch at least once or twice in their lifetime even if you are aged 15 years i am sure you might have had an incident of eyelid twitch so i hope my video was interesting and useful for you if yes please like share and subscribe and don't forget to watch my next video thank you